I'm sure we've all been there, you know, watching something. Maybe you see a photo, maybe you see a video and you think, huh, I could do that. That's it. That's my intro. Hey, I'm Amanda. You're watching Small Entertainment. And today we are talking about TikTok and chaotic home renovations, specifically of the DIY sort, you know do it yourself or destroy it yourself. Depends really how you choose to look at it. I spent a lot of time on TikTok. That's not a secret. That's not a surprise. I talk about TikTok a lot on this channel, but I don't fully understand how I once again ended up on home renovation, home DIY TikTok and the chaos that it entails because, oh my God, are some of these TikToks cursed? I'm going to specifically be talking about two TikTokers and their home renovations in this video, but I did get to interview one of them, so we will be talking about that. But first, let me talk about the sponsor for this video, Morning Brew. I cover a variety of topics on this channel and I do what I can to try and stay up to date on industry news and news in general. However, it's not uncommon for me to find myself doom scrolling and and just continuously getting caught up in the never ending feed of the 24 hour news cycle. But the Morning Brew newsletter is a great way to combat that. Morning Brew is a daily newsletter that comes out Monday through Sunday and it gets you caught up on news in just five minutes. Morning Brew curates business, finance, and tech news in such an easy to digest way that normal news media just can't keep up with. This is their Sunday edition newsletter. It features stocks to watch based on upcoming brand collabs and an interview with John Green since his first nonfiction book just came out. It's completely free and takes less than 15 seconds to subscribe to Morning Brew. Go ahead and click the link in my description box and sign up for Morning Brew newsletter today. Thank you again to Morning Brew for sponsoring this video. So I don't think I have to explain to you that TikTok is like 15 seconds to 60 seconds length videos. There are a couple of people who have been given access to three minute accounts. And personally, there's only one, one specific TikToker that I think deserves three minute videos is Dr. Laura, okay? Laura Rodriguez, she is the only one. Her videos where she is playing every single character is more riveting than any hospital drama I have ever seen. It's more entertaining, it's better written, it's partially better acted in a lot of instances. There's been a complaint filed against your resident. Oh, there's been a complaint? Oh, oh yeah, I'm sorry, ER. I guess my kid with streptococcoferin fuckingitis is gonna have to wait for a complaint from my resident. Give me just a second, okay? Give G give me just a second. Can I fucking help you? Dr. Laura has my heart and my attention, okay? <laughs> but resoundingly, TikToks are 15 to 60 seconds. And so I think it's to be expected when we get into the topics of DIYs or projects or especially home renovations, that some steps are gonna be left out. And that we're just seeing, you know, the before, maybe a little bit of the work, and then the after. It's not surprising that some people, like Grace, would think, I can do that. What about this bathroom made you be like, I want to do this myself? Um, I'm just stubborn. And I saw all this, you see this DIY TikToks where it's like, it's also only 15 seconds long, which I really didn't take into account. And I'm super duper impulsive now. Mm -hmm. I cannot help how impulsive I am. But how many hours do you think you've put into it at this point? Like my boyfriend's probably almost broken up with me so many times. I've been in here like 24 seven. I'm fairly certain the first video of Grace's that came across my For You page was probably one of the very first green countertop TikToks that she made. Okay, so everyone kept asking me for updates. Um, I listened to a couple people who commented and told me to sand it. I tried that. Um, look, I even bought this fancy um, sander thing. But now all the layers are coming up so help. Oh, and I painted the counter green, so. Uh... It was surprising just how textured her counter seemed to be. In my interview with her, I discovered that the reason her counter appeared to be so textured initially was because she painted it white and then did glitter on it and then just painted over it with the green. But the green wasn't even bathroom waterproof countertop paint. No, it was island paint. But <laughs> everyone was hating, see I'm impulsive, and everyone mm. was hating on my like white countertop. It mm. looked like it had bugs on it. And so like I had the green paint and I was like, I was gonna paint the island green or the cabinets green. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, oh, well, I could just paint the island or the counter green and then keep the cabinets white. Mm -hmm. 
and then I like didn't sand it down before so it was chunky from the sparkles and I thought adding more layers of paint was gonna help which apparently that is anti you are not supposed to add layers of paint do not add layers of paint people get very mad about the paint it's not surprising that it was a little lumpy it's it's not that at all surprising but it started as that and she also shared how she had done her own tile and styled her own tile. So you painted the floor black before you did that stencil thing to it? Yeah, well, because everyone else in the video, well, they also only had like really small areas. Mm. And then I sized my tile. I was gonna buy stencil. Mm -hmm. And I haven't told anybody this part yet though, but it's honestly embarrassing. I don't know if I should repeat it. I thought my tile were like a weird size. I was like, no, my tile is 5.7 inches and regular tile six, my stencil won't fit. But I was just measuring the tile wrong. My, my tile were six inch tiles. So I could have had the right stencil all along. And the bathroom is deceptively large. So the fact that she even attempted to do this, I mean, yes, she did attempt to make stencils, but the fact that she was even attempting to DIY her own tile detailing, I have to admire the, the dedication. <laughs> but sharing her initial finished product of her bathroom, I guess, or the work in progress that needed to remain in progress. Y'all, I don't want y'all to worry because I got this, okay? I feel like it's fine. You don't like it? Like, if you look far away, I feel like it's kind of good. Grace started getting a lot of comments from people offering advice, telling her what she should use to try and reduce some of the damage undo some of the damage. Everyone, I'm removing the green paint and I feel like it can only go up from here. Everyone's doubting it, but I feel like honestly, y'all, it can't get worse, so. Honestly, Picasso is lucky he did not have a TikTok because I do not know how he would have handled the slander in the comments, y'all. Okay, y'all, making a lot of progress, honestly. I have no idea why I painted the freaking sink bowls green. I apologize, but it's not coming out and I'm working. Day 40 of working on my bathroom. And also, a lot of people telling her she should just go ahead and hire a professional. You're gonna keep wasting money if you don't just go hire a professional. But she also got a lot of comments questioning her mental state. Yo, okay, no, I'm not off my meds. Okay, I'm just taking a quick break. There was a lot of people seemingly diagnosing Grace, saying that she was having a manic episode or that she was bipolar. And I asked Grace what she thought about this. Because also people were getting really offended. Like people that are actually bipolar were commenting back. It's not nice for y'all just to like throw that around whenever someone mm. does stupid stuff and like all of that. And so I was like, I don't want to give like bipolar people a bad stigma. Like I'm not bipolar. I'm just yeah. like impulsive yeah. and brain damage. In another TikTok, Grace addressed the comments trying to guess her mental state and said in her own words that she is as impulsive as she is because she was a victim of a hit and run from a drunk driver. All right, everyone, while waiting for paint to dry, I'm gonna use this as an excuse to um, hopefully spread awareness and just explain to y'all that no, I'm not bipolar, I'm not manic. Um, I'm actually what I like to call a speed bump. I was run over by a drunk driver in December 2019 and suffered a traumatic brain injury, which makes me super impulsive and bad decisions. But I mean, I've always been stupid, so I can't really blame it fully on that. I was ran over by a car, I'm not bipolar. I was like, it's just brain damage. Mm -hmm. Like, don't worry. I'm fine. But now I feel bad for people with brain injuries. Cause I'm like, I don't want them to get a bad stigma. Cause like everyone treats me like a make a wish kid. So I say now, because if anyone's mean in the comments, someone will reply back and be like, she was hit by a drunk driver. She can't control it. I'm like, no, y'all, no, that wasn't the point of the video. I'm like, oh I God. can control it. Mm -hmm. And I've had like several friends killed from drinking and driving. So I was like, okay, if I'm like the one that survived, like I got to stand up for everybody else. But that explains really why Grace was like, I can do this. I can just start this and led to the decision to do her own bathroom. And now she continued to do her own bathroom because she doesn't want to hear I told you so. What would have to happen at this point for you to actually be like, okay, I need to call a professional or would nothing no. do nothing, mm -hmm. nothing? Mm -hmm. I have way, like, you know how many people would say I told you so? My I mom used to say I told you so so much growing up that like, that's my number one thing. I cannot hear I told you so. I hear you. And so like, I have to, and I've been telling everyone to trust the process. Mm -hmm. So if I give up on the process, everyone's gonna be like, uh. Several coats of paint, several, I'm assuming jugs of paint remover later. And here is the final product of Grace's bathroom. I think it looks very nice. It's kind of funny to think of like where it was. And then even the in-between process as it all goes 
and where it is now where it looks really pretty and aesthetic and again it's a surprisingly large bathroom so like i think it looks pretty good i wasn't gonna buy more paint i had a budget yeah two hundred dollars i saw that you had a two hundred dollar budget i still have to do the math but i tried to go through grace's tiktoks to try and find all the names of all the products that she used throughout her process of finishing up her bathroom and fixing it as i am filming this i have yet to do the math because a lot of math. Super flattering freeze frame here, but it's been a week since I filmed this video and I have tried to tally up and research the products and totals several times. And I just almost always end up on the verge of a panic attack. I don't know what it is <laughs> with math and me, but yeah, no, I, I don't have a total for you. I asked her why she thought people were so invested and she honestly isn't sure. You know, people do like the like TikTok memes at the end of the year and they're like, We'll put all in. I'm so scared the green bathroom is going to be in that. I, been so heated. I think you're part of TikTok lore at this point, but I also think that it's like people feel like they're on this journey with you. Like, I think I've seen multiple people say, I feel like I'm trapped in the bathroom with her. Like, I, I want to block her, but I can't. I need to know how this goes. I see <laughs> so many people say that. I'm like, I'm so sorry I took y'all on this journey with me. Grace's next project currently seems to be her office in her house. However, her dad is trying to prevent her from doing any work on her office by sending her bird and bat houses to paint and DIY. I told my dad I wanted to do the office, and so he mailed me bird houses. I thought he wanted me to build and then it turned out they're bat house in an owl house that I just paint. I'm 23 and I feel like I'm being grounded right now. Y'all help. It's supposed to be a clubhouse. It's going to be night owls. How cute, right? You're going to get have like a, an HGTV show by the end of this. I wish I need a job. So I'm like anyone that wants to pay me, just pay me. I will just talk to the camera <laughs> for as long as they want. Thank you again for talking with me. I am invested in your bathroom journey. If I'm you... so sorry. <laughs> I'm so... It'll be done soon. However, TikTok has a new home renovation to stress over. This stressed me out. This this made me so uncomfortable in a way that it shouldn't. Because again, it's not my life. I shouldn't be thinking this. But then I just started thinking like waking up from a nightmare and then there's just sand all over my bedroom floor. So this next few videos are from the account Poopy Too Much. So part of me wants to take everything I'm about to see with a grain of salt, but you know. I can't believe I passed up the opportunity to say grain of sand. I, I'm gonna have to call her Poopy. I don't, I don't have another option to call her anything but Poopy, do I? So Poopy, <laughs> Poopy herself said that if you're having a little bit of a breakdown, if you're feeling a little bad, do something impulsive. If you're seeing this, it's a sign. No, it's probably not, but if you are going through a little bit of a breakdown, do something impulsive. I have a feeling it'll help. I'll let you know if it helps me. I got 150 pounds. She is 150 pounds of sand and she's hoping that'll help her and she will let you know. So she then in the next video goes on to show what 150 pounds of sand in your bedroom looks like. Say, I'm um, 150 pounds down. I think I'm gonna go get 150 more. But it looks literally so cute. Oh my god, look how cute. Oh my goodness, hi Tedders. It's in every corner of her room, but she's like, I'm gonna go get 150 pounds more. It's not my life. <laughs> I, I, this, this is probably where people can be like, just let people enjoy things. This is like one of those instances. I understand, but also like sand. <laughs> Oh my God, this makes me so uncomfortable. I haven't even had the chance to reach out to her to see if she would like to do an interview. Like that's how, <laughs> anyway, she did get 150 pounds more of sand, totaling 300 pounds of sand in her bedroom. I got a copyright claim, so now I'm singing over this TikTok of Poopy playing copyrighted music, showing off her sand bedroom and her feet and yeah, and oh my God, this makes me so uncomfortable. Oh my God, not the pillow, stop. <laughs> Don't, no. <laughs> the, the grating feeling in my skin. I mean, her feet are never gonna be softer. I should point that out. This is like living on a pumice stone. It's like two inches deep. That's what it looks like. <laughs> like she has more sand in her room than LA gets in rain in a year. <laughs> I don't know why I'm 
laughing and giggling, but like, I'm like so uncomfortable watching this. And again, let people enjoy things. Like if she's living her best life, poopy, good for you. Okay. But also like you have a dog. If like your dog kicks, if your dog runs, if your dog chooses to jump on your bed, like the sand's going everywhere. <laughs> What about like when you shower and you like your your dresser's still in your room? Like what if you're like wet from the shower and then you walk in and then you know you've got sand on your wet feet and then you're trying to get your pajamas on and <laughs> Okay, Poopy, I hope you're enjoying your sand life. You seem to not have a problem with like dirt or anything. She is a construction worker. Like a bunch of other videos, I'm like wildly impressed watching <laughs> some of the stuff that she does. Uh, personally, <laughs> this isn't for me. I will not be doing a home renovation. This will not be an I tried it so you don't have to where I fill my apartment with sand like poopy. Not for me. Um, I'm gonna stick to my uh, dragon's den vibes where everything is shiny and cozy uh, and I just hoard things like books and stuff. I think that's where I need to be. I think that's where my comfort level is. Like I said, Grace's bathroom is finished. I will be linking both her and Poopy's accounts down below. If you would like to go and check out their stuff or follow them yourself, that's probably gonna be it for this video. Have you ever done your own renovation at home? Have you done any renovations inspired by TikToks? Did Grace's bathroom renovation make you look at your previously renovated space and think, huh, I really fucked this up. <laughs> Let me know, comment down below. Shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon. If you'd also like to support me on Patreon, that'll be listed down below. If you'd like to follow me on all my social media, that'll be all up here. If you'd like to go ahead and buy yourself some Soul Entertainment merch, that'll be linked down below. And that's gonna be it. Have a lovely day, goodbye. that's the, the whole point is like being impulsive and like that's why she put the sand in but like I'm just imagining like having a really rough morning waking up and then like slipping on the sand or something like because again it's like wood and then sand on top of it so I'm like I'm imagining like smacking my head into the ground. Thank you Allie, Ellen, Alex, Brandon, Cameron, Christopher, Chris, Cody, Colton, Crash, PC, Destiny, Devin, Dirty One, Don, Elliot, S and M, Fex, Hope, Solo, Jucker, Ray, Joe, John, M, Jordan, Joseph, Kenny, Kevin, Kim, Kristen, Lex, Lisa, Lise, Manga, Matt, Matt, O, Matthew, S, Me, More, The Red, Michael, Michael, Jay, Nathaniel, Pat, Pollock, Rob, Robbie, Robert, Ross, Sam, Simon, Stephen, Tasha, Timothy, Tom, Wendy, Williams, Andre.